Whether you're a teacher or a student, the iPad is the best value for education, and here's why. The iPad has a reputation as a pretty expensive luxury item, but I reckon it's the best value for money teacher tool that there is, and it kind of pains me to say that. So, okay, I wouldn't go for the base model iPad, but pretty much anything above the kind of standard 32 gigabyte storage, you've got an Apple Pencil input, gives you incredible functionality. And just think about all the things that it can do compared to any other bit of teacher tech. But the Apple Pencil makes the iPad an incredible machine for teachers and students. The more I've used the iPad in school, the more I've come to think of it as the best value, the best all round. And I've been looking and reviewing quite a lot of teacher tech recently. So let me know your thoughts. Is this the best value for money? Do you have one? What do you love to use about it as well? Let me know in the comments below. Now I've reviewed quite a few bits of teacher tech recently. For example, a pen display that's around 400 quid or e-ink tablets, which are around 500 quid themselves. And each one of these, you'd need to have a laptop as well to use it in the classroom. Whereas the iPad is the one machine you could probably get away with doing everything and still have that excellent note making capabilities on it. And I know my students have really liked me using the iPad to make them sets of notes on the whiteboard. And I can then email them to them after the lesson. So if you're gonna have to be spending money on a laptop anyway, perhaps the iPad might just be the teacher's best friend. And maybe it's the one device that if you're a student that's only gonna buy one thing for university or for school, it might be the one device that can do the most. And given that, I think it's the best value, it also feels like a really premium product. And they designed the Apple Pencil 1 to actually roll so that it lands Apple logo up every single time. And that's supposed to stop it falling off the table, but I still seem to drop it at just about every single lesson. And it's still working. And I've asked a lot on different communities like Reddit and Twitter and Facebook, and people clearly love teaching on their iPad. And the fact that people have taken the time to write really detailed comments should really recommend it to you. And loads of people are using it in loads of different ways. And the base model works with the Apple Pencil now. So that's 400 quid and you're ready to go to teach with the iPad. Now, if you are a teacher and you're considering getting an iPad or you've got one, then I recommend GoodNotes is the one to go. And the reason for that is because when you connect it to a screen, GoodNotes can just display the notes, not all of the user interface as well around it. So it goes basically full screen. It's the one app, maybe you know of some others, but it's the one app that I've found that can just display a clean set of notes as you make them on the whiteboard in the classroom. And to be honest, if you're looking for something free, then the Apple Notes app is just as good as anything. And with the latest updates of iOS, the note-taking capabilities have just gone through the roof on this machine, and they're just built in straight out of the box. If you're a student, then I'd probably recommend Notability. And coming up, I've got a comparison of those two apps. So I suggest spend a little bit. Teachers get good notes, students get Notability. Notability is great because you can actually record audio notes on it as well. And it will actually play back the audio when you click on the linked bit of text that you've written. Great for lectures. It's not all rosy though, because if you've got this connected to a display in the classroom, you can't record the screen at the same time. I do wish they'd sort that out. And also the built-in microphone is not fantastic. I can't vouch for the very latest ones, but I would recommend getting an external recorder or an external lav mic to make sure you're getting clean and crisp audio. So it's great for doing those screen recordings using the Apple Pencil, but there's a couple of flaws. For example, if you are going to use the built-in microphone, then you're gonna hear the tap, tap, tap sound of the Apple Pencil on the screen. And if you are recording sound on it, you'll certainly want to be bringing the levels up and applying compression on your audio afterwards to make sure it's nice and clean and crisp. You can also use Air Server linked with a laptop to be able to use this kind of untethered from a screen. Or you could get an Apple TV, and I think even the first generation ones, which would be really cheap now, second hand, and link that to your monitor in the classroom. And then you can walk around and use this untethered. It's a whiteboard that you could teach from the back of your classroom. You could even hand the iPad to a student to ask them to complete it on the iPad and show everyone else they're working. There's loads of cool options like that. And what I really like using it for is building up these class notes and you can do that in discussion with them, facing them and maintaining eye contact. And my group have really liked looking over past lessons notes, just flipping back to a few lessons ago and actually recapping those, going briefly over stuff that you've built up over time. Think Rosenstein's principles there. Let me know if that's something you want me to discuss in a later video. So in short, I wanted to hate the iPad. I wanted to describe it as an expensive luxury. I wanted to say, stick with PowerPoint, stick with your computer. But the more I use it, the more I look forward to using it in a classroom as well. And there's something important about that. And it's not expensive, 
but it feels really premium. So you might ask, can you get the same results with an Android tablet, which can be cheaper? I bought one a few years ago and to be honest, I just haven't used it as much as I thought I was going to. I think the Apple Pencil is an incredibly well-designed piece of kit. I found the Android tablet, it's an Asus, it's a good one, but I just found it to be a little bit unpolished. And since picking up this iPad, which is not the brand new, it's not the very latest one, I've found it feels like somebody has considered everything that I will want to do with it. And they've made it pretty straightforward to do it. It feels like you're always doing stuff in a way that somebody's designed it to be done. Somebody's given it for before you get to do it. And because of that, it kind of really does feel like a tool that's tailored to you even though it's got that kind of lockdown Apple mentality. Could you get the same thing with a wireless drawing tablet? Yes, to some extent, but you're gonna still be bound to a laptop then. And although I think if you get the iPad, you're probably still gonna to need to use a school laptop for some things, just like taking the register and all those information management system things, Sims things. I think you'll get away with a lot of what you need to do in the classroom with the iPad. So the thing is though, as it always is with Apple, there's a few tweaks and it'll be perfect. Give us a proper presentation mode so we can do a proper extended desktop. Let us just use third party HDMI adapters, please. They do work, but they almost always need charged and the official Apple one is ridiculously expensive. That being said, I'd probably make that the one that I'd buy if I were you just to get around all the quirks. Allow us to wirelessly cast to any monitor rather than having to be an Apple TV. And if you can just allow screen recording while casting to an external monitor, this really would be the perfect teaching machine. And I'd be recommending it to everybody as the very best all-rounder. As such, it's just the best value. So let me know your thoughts. Do you teach on an iPad? What do you love using about it? And let me know if you've got any questions, things you'd like me to check out, things you'd like to see in a later video. Thanks for watching Rule of Physics. Oh, my God.